I want to talk about beach cleanups. During traveling, I spent lots of time at different beaches and cleaned them and took part in many beach cleanups. And often there is, you could question whether it's really sensible to put that, that much energy in cleaning up beaches because it's just like fighting the symptoms and, and only making a very, very small impact on a huge problem. And cleaning up wherever the rubbish ends doesn't make as much sense as cleaning the source and mitigating plastic entering the ocean or, or any kind of garbage entering the ocean in the first place. However, there are some points that are really important about beach cleanups. Point one, obviously, is what you find there and what you clean up. What are you finding down there? A lot of things. Some tube. A lot of tube. A lot of beers. Coke. What is that? A clue? Ropes and slings, yeah. Uh, I don't know what is this? I mean, if you clean up five big bags of trash, those five big bags are not going to end up in the ocean in the first place. So that's a really good impact you can have. The second impact you can have is awareness. Awareness for yourself. Because if you start picking up all this trash, you start to really realize what's going on and you start to feel the, the urge of the problem. You start finding everyday items. You start finding plastic bags, you, you find plastic bottles or you find like little little stuff you would uh, clean your ears with or you find, find a lighter or whatever. So you really get a connection to everyday items as possibly polluting stuff. I want to tell you about one big moment I had when cleaning up a beach in Gran Canaria. On this beach we were trying to filter microplastic out of the sand and I, have n I had never thought of how much microplastic we would find in there. Just check this out. We took some sand from the surface of the beach and collected it together. After collecting it, we rinsed it out with water. And you can immediately see there's so much plastic inside the sand you would not see in the first time. However, in the second step, we filter again the water that we used to rinse off the sand. The second filtration shows how much microplastic is in the water and in the sand there. I was absolutely shocked when I saw that. So this is the kind of benefits you get from a beach cleanup. It's a deep understanding. And one major point when you do beach cleanups people will see you people will talk to you people will ask and people will think well what are they doing should i maybe do the same on this very beach cleanup i was just talking about i met a dutch couple and they start talking to us well we were staying here in the Radisson blue hotel and we're here on holidays and uh, we just passed by these lovely people who are cleaning up uh, the beaches and uh, the ocean and uh, so we start to ask them what are what are you doing and, uh, and yeah we just heard this lovely story that there that more and more volunteers of the island are uh, cleaning up the beaches and uh, it just is really yeah great to, to hear that's why beach cleanups are so important. Not only because of the small percentage or percentage of litter that you're picking up, but also about the great awareness that you can raise within you and within your neighbors. If you liked watching this video, give it a like or share it with your friends. See you next time.